Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we're back with the Logitech G900 Chaos Spectrum Gaming Mouse because I wanted to uh, cover two things that I didn't cover so well in my initial review that I posted a day or two ago. You can see that uh, linked above. Uh, the first item is a quick one in that the battery for this is built in. A lot of you wrote in assuming this has like a AA battery or something that you have to put in. Uh, it actually has a built-in lithium ion battery and it will charge when you plug the mouse in to the computer. So when you have the mouse working in a uh, wired mouse mode, it is also charged charging the battery. So right now on my uh, screen here, I've got an indicator that says we are 91% charged. So that is how you charge up the battery on it. Uh, no AA battery, you just plug it back in when the battery runs low and it'll charge up uh, while you use it connected to the computer. Now the other item is a piece of errata. And what I said in the original review was that you couldn't mix and match uh, keyboard macros along with mouse click. So what you could do, and what we did in our initial video, was I actually took uh, some text that I had uh, written on my, uh, my computer screen and mapped it to this button here. So if I go over to Notepad real quick and I push that button down, you can see that we're dropping the word testing in, and that text is coming out of the mouse via my USB cable here, which is pretty cool, right? Uh, and we set that up. Uh, you can see in the original video how it was done, but uh, you just go over here and just edit uh, one of your uh, macro commands. So I had a bunch of keystrokes in here. Now what wasn't apparent to me was how to get a mouse click in and I assumed that it wasn't possible because there was no instruction to do that but a lot of you wrote in and said if you uh, go over to the macro screen here like you were going to edit it so you can you know select uh, some things to remove or add or whatever if you right click uh, you can then insert a mouse event which is something that I missed on the original video and I wanted to clarify that so what I'm going to do here is add in a right button click and that will map itself to that same button you just saw so it'll drop all that text and then it's going to push the right mouse button. So I'm going to click OK to execute that change. I'm just going to go back over here to Notepad and delete uh, that what I had in there. I'll switch back to my camera now. I'm going to put the cursor over Notepad so we can get a good right click here. And when I push the button, it's going to drop the text and then uh, it issues a right mouse click as you can see here. So I can push the button again and now we get uh, the context menu that you would get if you would hit the right mouse button there. So that is uh, how you can integrate mouse clicks with your macros. I was wrong in the first review, so this is correcting the record and I'll link this video back to the other one. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporter Shabib. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.